episode 90. Welcome to the Modern Vintage Podcast, the podcast where we take vintage principles and make them modern for today's leading ladies. I'm your host, Miss J. Welcome to episode 90, which is actually episode one of the Modern Vintage Podcast with Miss J. You may have noticed some changes around here. It's like I gave us a little makeover from the cover art to the title of the podcast. And the theme of the podcast itself is changing. So I wanted to take this episode, number 90, to define modern vintage, to give you the lay of the land of where we're going from here and how excited I am to take you on this journey with me. Modern vintage is the marrying of my two favorite things in the world. It's taking vintage principles and making them modern for today's leading ladies. Ladies who are fierce, but are still very feminine. Ladies who are leaders, but still want to show up in a way that is uniquely feminine. Ladies who know that they can be both beauty and brains, or at least they will come to know that as we spend more time together. Think Doris Day meets Beyonce, and that really is the essence of modern vintage. It's going to be a whole lot of moxie and a dollop of gumption. We are going to talk all things vintage style. We're going to talk about the best of vintage style. All of the tools, the skills, the experience, the knowledge, those principles distilled down into a way that makes sense for modern women. While also fully recognizing that there are some cringy things about style in the 40s and 50s. There's certainly some cringy things about etiquette books and charm books from that era. I also fully recognize that as a woman of color who is married to a man of a different race, that if I had lived in the 40s and 50s, I could not have married my husband. I could not be a lawyer. I could not amass the platform that I have where I'm able to speak to you so freely. I recognize all of that. But there's something so alluring and so appealing about that bygone era. There's something so fantastical and really appealing to me about women dressed to the nines, about women showing up with gumption and moxie, even in the face of world wars, with hair done and makeup on. There's something so appealing and enticing about that, and I think we would be remiss And we would miss out on so much knowledge that there is to gain and to learn if we just decided it was all outmoded and passe and not worth a second look. So really, modern vintage is all about exploring the best of those bygone eras and making them applicable to you today. Now, why the change from new glam gal to modern vintage? If you're a longtime listener, you know that the podcast used to be called New Glam Gal. I wanted to change the name from New Glam Gal first because there's some issues with the term gal itself. For a lot of people, it's a pejorative term. It doesn't mean the cheeky thing that I would like it to mean. That's number one. Number two, I feel as though my audience and myself have graduated from new glam gal, where we're exploring glam, where we're exploring self-confidence and self-love and style and beauty, to graduating to the master class, to graduating to that place where we're leading ladies. We take the lead of our own life. We take the lead in the dressing room. We take the lead in the boardroom. 
We are the heroine of our own stories. We are no longer just the new glam gal trying things on for size to see how they fit. No, we're not playing dress up in our mommy's clothes. We're not trying on for size some other gal's version of what's glamorous. We're graduating to a whole new level. And I felt that as I graduated and I really stepped into the role as your professor of glam and elegance, Miss J, and I really took on that role, that it was time that I invited you along the journey with me. That as I graduated from the new glam gal to the leading lady, that it was so beautiful to be able to take you all on this journey with me and to really model for you what it means to change and to adapt over time, even when that means sometimes we have to shed our old identity, our old way of relating to others or the way that people know us. And turning that on its head and saying, I've evolved to this other version of myself. Won't you join me? I've evolved to this other version of myself. I'm giving you permission to do the same. And I'm going to show you what I've learned along the way so that you can replicate the process in your own style and in your own life. I'm so excited to bring you along in this next chapter, this evolved chapter from new glam gal to leading lady. Welcome to the Modern Vintage Podcast. Thank you for listening. I hope you love today's show. If you're a leading lady with gumption and moxie and you're ready to get stylish, I recommend you go to judithgaton.com J-U-D-I-T-H-G-A-T-O-N dot com. Once you are on the website, you can access my free style class just for leading ladies. All right, let's get it. Miss J out.